Hello fellow gamers, welcome to a Escape from Tarkov settings guide. In this video, I'm gonna talk about anything from game settings, NVIDIA control panel settings, to Windows settings that can help you increase your performance. If you hover over the timeline, you will see chapters. If there's like a specific thing you want to know or anything like that. And uh, if there's any questions you have about this, then let me know in the comments and I'll answer you as soon as I can. All right, let's start. This is an offline raid, so this is not the actual FPS I get in a normal raid. But off here, I'm just gonna do these quick, like the ones who, that matters. Automatic ram cleaner, I don't use it. But if you have 8, you should have this on. But with 16, I would also suggest keeping that off. If you have 8 or lower, then keep that on. This, keep that on. Everyone I've seen on YouTube gains FPS using that. But who knows? you might not do that so try that out yourself i can't really say it just depends on your pc everyone's pc is different but i'm just saying 95 percent of people will gain fps with that on fov i'd say keep this from 58 to 66 it's field of view it's pretty much how how wide your view is gonna be head bobbing keep that bitch at the lowest here because when you're running with it that on one when you're running it's gonna be up and down so hard All right moving on to the graphics i'll say keep your native resolution if you're playing on 4k maybe not but now with dlss i would still say play on your native resolution and then here screen mode i would say keep this on full screen I don't know why my mind's on borderless i don't want to change it now because i don't want to mess up the recording but Full screen for the best performance. Here you choose your monitor. Texture quality. I would say keep that on medium. If you have a bad GPU, then maybe put that on low. Even if you have a 3090, I'd say keep that on medium. Shadows, low. Object LOD quality. On the lowest. Overall visibility. This is view distance. So I used to have it on 400 in my previous videos. You can see look at the fps 120 let's say 127 average you can see the back there at the mountains yeah you can't really tell a difference but compare this to this not really a huge difference right here where i'm standing but uh, yeah but if you have like two gigabytes of vram on your graphics card then keep that on 400 otherwise i would just say keep that on a thousand the game just looks so much better with it anti-aliasing TAA, resampling, 1x. And here's two alternatives. NVIDIA DLSS for NVIDIA users. And then there's the AMD FSR, which for some reason I can use it. I only thought AMD cards could use it. Either way, I'm fairly sure DLSS is better anyways. And just keep it on quality. I can link a video down below where I compare all of these. If you don't want to watch that video, long story short, it's like no FPS difference for me, okay? For me. Just keep that on quality. This will make the game a bit blurry, but I will show you some ways you can uh, solve that later on. This is ambient occlusion. So this is like sh soft shadows. Keep that off. It just makes the game darker. Screen space reflections. So that's like the water, puddles, maybe windows. I usually have this on high. But I'm just gonna select like the settings you should use for the best quality. It looks cool. So I recently started using it. But this, if you have a bad GPU, and your GPU will be like a microwave. Okay, so keep that off. Anostropic filtering also off. And then all of these off. I don't know why they removed this temporary disable. I don't know. It's like this settings. Try it out yourself. I can't really tell a difference. See blur. You can use that. That just adds a blur to your gun. Post FX. I will also link this video down below where I explain these more in depth. What they do. Why I use them. Let's see. The FPS difference. Once 122 of... 122 but this is our offline raid so in an online raid i might lose like three to five fps but in my opinion this looks so much better than this this 
reduces your latency so just keep that on plus boosts i don't know some cards might not support the boost i don't know but if you can have that on air sharpness like i was talking about this makes the game a bit blurry so you might wanna depending on your preference i think 1.5 is good i also have like a sharpness filter on my monitor settings which i can't really show you guys look in your monitor settings like that you can access with your fingers and look for like a sharpening or like mine is called image enhancement now i'm gonna show you the best nvidia control panel settings so you need to have an nvidia card for this open it by right click and then nvidia control panel here make sure you have this middle one that pretty much tells your computer to use your settings and not some uh, other stuff then go to this check your gpu right here but the main manage 3d settings you can change these global that change it for i have done it that change it for the like all the games you play but if you don't want to do that just put program settings find escape from tarkov here if you can't find it then press add and then uh, look for it here if it's not here press browse wherever you have it installed boom open and you will get it so here i'm just gonna scroll through this quick if you want to know what a specific option does, um, then just click on it and then read this. And if that doesn't give you your answer, then uh, write a comment and I can uh, try to explain it to you. And then go to change resolution and make sure you have your highest hertz here and your native resolution. Scroll down. Use NVIDIA color settings. Should have the highest. And then the highest of that. Full. And then here. I don't really know what these are. So I just have RGB. Adjust desktop color settings. I will explain these more in the post FX guide. If you want to see that. Basically this adds more color to your game. This makes the game brighter. Alright. I'm going to show you some more Windows settings that might help you. Open the file explorer, locate your game. For me, it's right there. Game from Tarkov.exe. Right click, properties, compatibility. Disable full screen optimizations should be on. Then have that to system. And now search control panel, hardware and sound, power options. And then ultimate performance. And if you don't have that, then pick the high performance. For the next tip, search graphics settings. Turn that on. And then browse, find Tarkov again. Boom, open or add. And then you'll get it here. You see, I have like all the games I play. Options, high performance. Then for the next, search for run open that then you put that in percent temp percent okay uh, these are temporary files your pc have used i actually deleted these today so i probably don't have a lot but just press on one control a delete then uh, this and then you skip and then your computer will skip some of the files you might need empty your recycle bin to fully remove it next thing go into run again and then you type in ms config boot advanced options number of processors and you pick the highest number all right next thing open up task manager go to details when you have torkov started or like running let's say let's say this is torkov you right click set priority then set it to high one more thing open nvidia geforce experience drivers check for updates it will check your uh, the latest driver yeah guys that's it for today or actually one more tip upgrade your computer 
it is the most effective way of increasing your performance. But yeah, I hope this helped you. If there's anything you want to ask me, then write a comment. I'll answer you as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.